From a bygone era, the Thracian nation, once the most numerous peoples of Europe, they inhabited a fertile and mountainous stretch of land bordering the Danube River to the north, the Black Sea to the east, and the Aegean Sea to the south. Thucydides called them the bloodiest of the barbarians, being most murderous when they had nothing to fear. But despite these characterizations of being bloodthirsty savages, the Thracians built establishments, citadels, and necropolises for their kings. They were cultivating fruit trees, grapevines, and cereals, and even extracting and processing gold and silver into ornate jewelry with the finest craftsmanship. They eventually were conquered by Rome and fully assimilated into the empire. But the Thracians have not disappeared. They are among us even today. And in this video, I will cover the ancient origins of Thrace, their distinct culture, language, and society. And if you stick around until the end, I will reveal the surprising findings of recent genetic studies done on the remains of ancient Thracian people. The origins of the Thracians remain obscure. Due to the absence of written historical records, before they made contact with the Greeks. Leo Klein, a 20th century Russian archaeologist, theorizes that the first Thracians originated from the multi cordon Ware culture, which was a group of prehistoric people that were pushed southwards from Ukraine by the advancing timber grave culture or Surubnaya. Most scholars agree that a Proto-Thracian people developed from a mixture of Indo-Europeans and early European farmers arriving from Anatolia from the time of the early Bronze Age. During the Iron Age, around 1000 BC, is when we begin to see Dacians and Thracians developing from the Proto-Thracian culture, their ancestors. and. The diverse topography of the region didn't make it possible for one single language to emerge. The Thracians mainly resided in southeastern Europe. Artifacts and excavations have uncovered evidence of their settlement in the modern day countries of Bulgaria, Romania, northeastern Greece, and even as far away as western Anatolia. The Thracians remain a mysterious people. Most of what we know about them comes from the writing of ancient Greeks and Romans and is somewhat biased against them. One of the earliest mentions of Thracians was by Homer in the Iliad. He designated them as one of the allies of Troy. From Homer, it is inferred that the ancient Greeks considered the Thracians as a non-Greek race as the allies of the Trojans were all non-Achaeans. The name Thracian and Thrace were exonyms created by the Greeks, and it is unknown as to what the Thracians actually called themselves. Most likely, due to their tribal culture and society, they identified with individual tribes rather than collectively as Thracians. Archaeologists have discovered evidence from as far back as the end of the Late Bronze Age in the 2nd millennium BC. For example, the Valhitran treasure, a treasure trove of artifacts, was discovered in 1924 in the Bulgarian village of Valkitran and dates back to 1300 BC. The hoard consists of 13 pieces of different form and size and weighs in a total of 12 and a half kilograms, consisting of ornate and decorated golden platters, cups, jugs, and bowls. This material evidence refutes the common stereotype of Thracians being barbarians with a primitive culture. Rather, it tells us of a culture with advanced metalworking techniques, art, creativity, and the capability to build and create rather than looting and destroying. 
Thracian society was organized into tribes that were independent and sometimes engaged in conflict with each other. They did not form a unified political state until the establishment of the Odrysian kingdom in the 5th century, which lasted until the Romans conquered them in 46 AD. The Odrysians were one of the most powerful tribes of Thrace, who inhabited the area around the Maritza river. The Thracians were renowned as horsemen and warriors, favored as mercenaries by the likes of the Macedonians and Roman Empire. Even Spartacus, one of the greatest gladiators in history, was himself a Thracian. The Thracians were also known for their love and consumption of wine. The Greeks considered the Thracians to be the first to worship the god of wine Dionysus or Zugreus in Thracian. Herodotus tells us the Thracians were polygamous, stating that virginity was not valued and unmarried Thracian women could have sex with whoever they pleased, which was quite unusual in the ancient world. The Thracians were famous for their elaborate tomb architecture, such as the tomb of Kazan Lak, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. These tombs contain jewelry, weapons and pottery, reflecting the high status and wealth of the deceased. Thracian culture was definitely influenced by the Greeks due to their proximity and interactions. This influence is evidenced in the art, which often displays Hellenistic style motifs. Despite this, the Thracians still maintained distinct cultural traits. One of the biggest mysteries of the Thracians is their language. Due to the scarcity of written records, it remains poorly understood. It is believed to be an Indo-European language, primarily known through the names of Thracian people and places recorded by Greek and Roman authors. One of the only pieces of historical evidence of Thracian language we have is an inscription on a ring which was discovered in 1912. Dubbed the Ezerovo Ring as it was discovered in the village of Ezerovo in Bulgaria and bears an inscription in Thracian but using Greek letters, suggesting the Hellenistic influence on Thrace. The inscription consists of 26 letters, forming a sequence of names that are believed to be of Thracian rulers or deities and dated to the 5th century BC, when Thrace had significant contact with the Greek world. So what about the recent genetic studies done on the ancient Thracians? A genetic study from the peer-reviewed journal Scientific Reports, conducted in 2019, examined the mitochondrial DNA of the remains of 25 ancient individuals discovered in three necropolises located in different regions of Bulgaria. Shekerja Mogila, Gabrova Mogila, and Beretska Mogila. The remains are from different periods of history, ranging from the 2nd to 3rd millennium BC. They found that the mitochondrial DNA haplogroups from the remains reflected the DNA variability of Western Eurasia. This means that the ancient Thracians had a mixture of Western steppe herder and early European farmer DNA, supporting the idea that the Balkan region has been a link between Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean since prehistoric time. Essentially, this means the ancient Thracians were genetically distinct from the Greeks, as they were a mixture of Mediterranean and steppe peoples. Now, the results of this study may show the Thracians were their own people, distinct from the Greeks. But the reality is, the Greek world and Greek civilization was not a monolithic thing. There were different dialects of language, Doric, Attic. There were different styles of architecture depending on the region. So there was a kind of diversity within Greek civilization. With that being said, if the Thracians were not racially Greek or Mediterranean, they were still influenced by Greek values, language and civilization. And we can see this through artifacts like the Ezerovo ring, they wrote in Greek, maybe they spoke a 
slightly different language but seemed like they were very much part of the Greek world and influenced by it and in that sense they were very much Hellenic they were very much Greek 